Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new episode. Today I'm currently taking my S14 to get a proper wheel alignment done at Raleigh Garage. So we're nearly at Raleigh Garage right now. I'm towing with my Ford, so a lot of you viewers don't know that I also have a Ford as well. And even though it's a non-turbo barrel, this Ford tows so well. I've towed my R33. It's actually really comfortable to tow. It's really easy to tow as well. And it, for an NA, I'm surprised how well it takes off as well. There's no sluggishness. This car actually takes off well, so I guess it's got a lot of good torque. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the wheel alignment at Riley Garage, show you the difference that I have right now in the S14 and how much better it is to get your wheel alignment done at Riley Garage. He's got a proper setup, so I trust him doing it. My R33 has been done by him at Riley Garage, and it honestly feels so amazing, my R33. I could not be happier with it. Is that an S13? No, it's an R32. Give that a bit of a film. Dude, an R32 leaving. Show you the S14. Love this car for towing. Just made it to Riley Garage. It was an absolute mission to get here. There's just so much traffic now that the restrictions are dropped. So now it's time to go for a wheel alignment. So I can't wait to get this car all dialed in right now. Quick shout out to the stepsister right there coming in clutch with this shifter. If you guys don't know, well, you're missing out. <laughs> So right now these are the settings right here. Look at that, six degrees of camber, five degrees of camber. So we're gonna fix all that up. This is the best wheel alignment machine you should be using. I really trust my car getting a wheel alignment here because it works perfectly well for low cars. If you wanna get a lot of camber, this machine can help with all that. So we're gonna dial in this car right now, come back to it when it's a better setting. Right now it's just adjusting the camber tops, trying to get around four degrees of cam but the front wheels so uh, yeah luckily i've got these nismo coil levers with the camera tops right here the right side has it's like 4.5 but then the left side is 3.8 so we'll do a bit more adjusting right now it's at 4.5 on both sides because before it was sitting around six degrees now it's sitting a lot better it actually looks a bit more tougher too now If you guys could see that on camera the s14 looks so much better now now it's got the proper camber adjustments on the car the car actually looks a lot nicer now now that the camber stuff has all been sorted can't wait to drive this car and keep it right man i'm getting so excited happy right now watch this one hand u-turn man look at that <laughs> so fucking wild man just from a gk tech roll correction kit you get so much angle out of this thing man hell yeah Time to load her up.
now we've got my car towed up we're gonna head up home drop the car off home and we'll go through the list man i'm so beat i'm wearing all black and it's like 30 something degrees today yeah way too windy to talk in the car boys i need to keep the windows down it is hot today dudes i'm back home man what an exhausting day in the morning the traffic was chaos coming back home was chaos i think it's like a school hour so everyone's out on the roads if you guys are wondering about trailing trailing isn't hard at all like if you're going through a tight side street and you have to do like you know a three-point turn then yeah but take your time with it you'll get through it the only annoying thing is like when you're going up an uphill and then someone just randomly breaks for no reason like there's no reason for them to be breaking and then you lose that momentum so trying to go back up the hill with the trailer with your car on it can take a bit of time but don't worry it'll be all right so yeah i don't mind trailing it's pretty fun but i'm sick and tired of renting it so if you own one be grateful because man the amount i've spent on hiring trailers i probably would have bought like two of them by now so. also sorry man oh man when you're so thirsty, water's like the best drink in the world, man. Yeah, I was starting to feel a little faint, so luckily I didn't go to Yarra and do a couple laps in this because I wanted to film out there, but I was feeling like very sluggish because it's hot weather today. But yeah, let's go have a look around the car. Hell yeah. That's on a 215 tire, so when we chuck the 235, 45 tires, we'll fill in the guards more. But yeah, look at the camber right there. So much better. The car is so much better. He just did an awesome job at it. When I first put the GK Tech roll correction kits, we had like six degrees of camber. Right now, about four and a half degrees, but I'll show you the sheet soon. But look how much better the car already looks now that we've adjusted the camber and stuff and the toe. Hell yeah. Oh, so much better, dudes. Leave a like for that shit, man. That shit is gold. Hell yeah, dudes. Bit of poke. Hell yeah. Oh, it's so tough. So we have no issues hitting up against anything, which is perfect. So I can't wait to see like the full angle kit with this roll correction kit once we're out on track. It's going to feel amazing. Don't worry about that cooler pipe. It's going to get changed eventually, so I don't care about it. Come to the back here as well. Yeah, dudes. Oh, we're golden, man. It's perfect. Got sticker right here. Somewhere about there with the tough. Riley Garage. That's the company that has also done my R33 and now my S14. And they've helped me out with some tires on my R33 as well and my S14. This company I honestly rate 10 out of 10. Good customer service. And the thing is with Lee, like when he works on your car, like you're not just going for a wheel alignment. He'll pick out things that will be like, all right, dude, you need to fix this because this will happen in the future. So it's good to have a drifter because Lee's a drifter. So if you're going to trust your car with anyone, trust it with him. Highly recommend get your wheel alignment done by him. He's cool to work on your cars as well. Um, I forgot to mention this part as well in the video. I'll just chuck it here. So this part here with my tie rod ends. So with the GK Tech rack spaces, one is a black bulky part. It's fine to tie your tie rod to that. But your other tie rod has a slipping collar right so my slipping collar was only into the rack 
by two threads. Like, I didn't even know that. He goes to me, dude, your rack is on by like two threads. That's pretty sketch. So I was like, shit, what am I gonna do? So my left tie rod had more threads than my right tie rod. So we swapped them over, which is fine to do. So now they've got four threads into my rack. So the thing is when you use slip-on collars, the maximum threads you're gonna get are about four threads. So I'm perfectly fine with that. He's told me people drift hard with about four threads in the rack, so that's perfectly fine. So thank you, Lee, for fixing my collar. Thank you for doing the wheel alignment. Highly recommend going to this company and get a wheel alignment done. Hit them up on Facebook. So if you guys can see that, that's when I first brought my car in. So when I first brought it in with the camber, it was 5.6 degrees and 6.5 degrees, which was pretty crazy. And I'm so used to seeing cambered cars, like it didn't even look that camber to me. So he dialed that in and now we've got 4.6 camber on both sides right there, if you guys can see that. And the rear camber was at three degrees when I first brought it in. We done it at 1.4. I could have gone to zero, but I was like, do you know what? My car doesn't have that much power. So I thought one degree wouldn't hurt. So yeah, I'm very excited to take this car to keep it right. November 27th, November 28th. I think there'll be spectators. I'm not sure. So if you guys are there, make sure to say hello. But I'll be spending most of the day drifting. Hopefully this car lasts. Like I don't see why not. Like it's been running perfectly fine. Going for little test drives. The car has had no hiccups. Now that we've got this wheel alignment, I feel really confident. I've got a big day, so as you guys are watching this video, I've already probably hopefully changed the RB25 clutch in this, and that video should be on Monday, and then I'm going to get rid of the ABS unit, so I've got to do the hard, I've got to do the ABS delete kit with GK Tech's part, and then I've got to re-bleed the brakes, so I've got Wednesday and Thursday, change the clutch, do the ABS delete kit line, re-bleed the brakes, and then we're sorted. See how the car goes for a few events, and then what I'm going to do is I've decided I'm going to chuck injectors in the car, do the GTR R35 math or another one, and then uh, get it tuned to how much power it can make. If it makes 280 kilowatts, I'm happy with it. Until the head gasket goes, then I'll rebuild stuff. So I'll take the head off and do stuff like that. I just want to boost this car for now. I just want to make about 280 to 300 kilowatts, which would be fine with stock head gasket, but because it's a track car, we'll be abusing it a lot. We'll see how long it lasts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A massive thanks to Riley Garage. Make sure to go check them out. Get your car wheel alignment done by them. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're a new viewer, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps with the channel. Leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Catch you guys later.